John Thielen's Destination Fish is brought to you by Alumacraft Boats. Yeah, whatever it is, he's there, huh? He's pulling, he's pulling. Let's see what we got here. There we go. Got him? Yep, I got him. This is what we're here for. Right here, I, I don't know if he's as big as, as what we're actually here for, but you know what? This is what we came to do, is catch fish like this. Wait till you see what, what you're gonna see here in a minute, because this, this is really cool. Here's the part where he realizes what's going on. <laughs> right there. <laughs> Over the years, I've caught a couple of these fish. Nate's caught a lot more of them than me. And I, I wanna tell you a story real quick while we're messing around with this fish. So last week, I'm crappie fishing. I'm filming down in the Twin Cities crappie fishing. And Nate's putting these pictures up of his seven-year-old daughter holding all these sturgeon. And I figured, hey, if he can catch fish with his seven-year-old daughter and she's catching all these sturgeon, I could certainly come up here and get one with him, right? <laughs> well, I ain't got one yet, but he's got one hooked up. And this is pretty cool. This fish is going the other way right it, now. Yeah, it definitely woke up. It, we got something <laughs> going on here now. Listen, you know, I think one of the coolest things about this is how easy this is to do. I mean, we're just fishing on the bottom. And, and you know, you're just using a big no roll weight. And we'll show it to you. I'll have Nate actually show it to you here once we get this fish dealt with. Yeah, it's something anybody can do. Anybody. Man, this is a this is a, a neat, neat opportunity that very few people take advantage of. I mean, there's a lot of boats out here, but it's nothing compared to what you'd see walleye fishing. And look at what Nate's doing right here. I mean, this is a fish of a lifetime that he's got hooked up for a lot of people. And, and this destination sits right here, accessible for anybody. Very easy, very doable, and we're not that far from the boat ramp. Right. It's not a long drive. Right. While Nate continues the fight, let's take a look at this week's logbook. Today we're fishing the Rainy River on a sunny late April day. We're fishing at 22 feet of water right on the edge of the river channel with five odd hooks gobbed full of night crawlers. It's been about 20 minutes since the battle started and we're about to get a look at this big fish. Just when I think I've gained some oh, ground, he's gone. There. Oh, there's, there's a your swivel. Weight. There he is. Oh, it's Ooh, a big one. that's a good one. Okay. I'd get him tail okay. first if I yep, was you. I'm going to try. Let's see here. Look at that. Oh. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to bring this fish in for you. Go it, ahead. It might be a two man lift. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, look at that fish. <laughs> This fish right here is exactly what you come to the Rainy River wow. for in the spring. Okay, is everybody okay. ready? <laughs> You're gonna have to stand up with that fish. Look at that. What a fish. That's <laughs> <laughs> just awesome. Awesome. What a fish. Let me get this net out of the way. Yep. Step out of there. Let's get that big prehistoric giant back in the water. That is Rainy River sturgeon. That's why you come here. Unbelievable. Holy shit. All right, let's what get her fish. back here. What a let's fish. Attempt to do this gracefully. What do you need for help? We'll you see. got it? Yep. Okay. Here we go. What a oh. fish. Just hold on to her for a second and she's gone. Awesome. All right, <laughs> fun. Funny. So fun. You got to try this. <laughs> so fun. Okay. Let me give you that. That is great. Hey, well, well we got that in. Show everybody exactly what this setup is. This is this is how simple it is to catch that fish. It, it's phenomenal. So anybody that catfishes is probably super familiar with this. Basically, I'm using a six ounce snow roll, anywhere from four to six ounce. Works great. Swivel, 14 to 20 inch leader. When I'm out of breath, that was quite the fight. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I got a five odd hook right here. Basically, put as many worms as you can possibly fit on this hook. A lot of guys also are using uh, frozen shiners or just gobbing them on there. The more you can get on there, the better. Huck it out there and just wait it out. And you know what's interesting is that bite is not what you would think it is. Not at all, no. That bite is, they'll just tap at it, they'll tap at it, and then all of a sudden it'll start to bend. And that's when you just grab it and you just kind of pull back and start reeling. I mean, it's Subtle. as simple as that yeah. because that circle hook's gonna do the work for you. That's awesome. Let's get another one of those. Fun, that's fun. It's your turn. I'm, I'm up next. It's your turn. Here we go, okay. <laughs> Stick around, let's watch John work one of these. <laughs> 
John Thielen's Destination Fish is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Oh boy. <laughs> I don't I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna get mine out of the way. All right. <laughs> there is something so cool about pulling back on something that's just this strong. Now I'm gonna tell you this is nowhere near the size of the first one unless all of a sudden he gets tough. Oh you wait. Nate, raise this motor trim up, up that you. motor. Yeah, that's yeah, let's do that. Did he wake up on you, John? He did. <laughs> <laughs> he did. Look at that. Look at that fish go. Man. There you go. Good. Good thing we did that. Look at this fish go the other way. Good Come thing around. we did that. Yep. It looks like this is going to be a while. Look In the meantime, let me tell you why I choose the Lumacraft boats. I have been asked many times over the years why Lumacraft. I've been with Alumacraft for over 20 years. In fact, I've actually lost track of the exact number of years. Alumacraft boats have always taken me where I needed and where I wanted to go. From professional walleye tournament fishing to guiding on Big Mille Lacs in central Minnesota to sharing my passion for fishing with the world on television. Tournament fishing will always have a place in my heart. I ran 195 tournament pros for all of my years on the professional circuits. It was in my Alumacraft boats that I scored top 10 finishes and qualified for championships. In all those years, I never had a single equipment issue that cost me any time on the water. As a guide, it was a daily grind. I couldn't afford a boat problem, and I can say that my Alumacrafts always got the job done for me there as well. Today, I spend more summer days on the water than off, and I never doubt whether my Alumacraft will perform. Whether it's filming television or fishing with family and friends on the weekends, I know I can count on my Alumacraft, and I know you can too. I'm John Thielen, host of Destination Fish TV. For two decades running, I've been the proud owner of an Alumacraft boat. The fight has gone on for about 25 minutes, and now we know I'm hooked up with a giant sturgeon. I'm not sure who is wearing who out as we go back and forth from one side of the boat to the other. Look at that, there's a the fish. Oh yeah, yep. <laughs> Fish just showed up on the sonar, right under the boat. Yep. I had them close. <laughs> so where we're fishing here is we're 22 feet of water and we're just right on the edge of a drop. So just right here's the channel and it just drops straight to the channel. We're just fishing right on the edge of it. Look at that. Same thing, around we go. So I started with this fish by saying it wasn't as big as Nate's. They're jumping out here. Yeah, everywhere, yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Awesome. Awesome. I said it wasn't as big as Nate's. To start right now, let me tell you. I can't call it either. This is a lot of fish. This is a lot of fish. This is a giant. It's definitely the biggest fish I've caught in my life. There's no doubt in my mind. In your life? I, well, maybe not in my life. In freshwater. Yeah. I caught a shark once. That doesn't count. When I was down in the Gulf. It was a baby shark. But even a baby shark's a big fish, right? Absolutely. Here we go. Absolutely. Here we go. Look at this. Oh my. There he is. Oh. Yep, that's a big one. That's a big one. All right. Wait till you see this. This is super, super cool. All right, let me get the pliers. Let's go ahead and hoist that fish right in here. Let me flip this bale. Are you ready? Yep, we're ready. Oh, look at that. This is a Oof, that's giant. A big one. <sighs> okay. Is that your biggest freshwater fish? What it's, are we thinking? It is. All right, it is. There's no doubt in my mind. Here we go. <laughs> look at this. Wow, oh, look at that fish. That is a giant fish. <laughs> I love it. That is just awesome. You got to get up here and do this. I'm going to get this fish back in the water, but I'll tell you what, if you've ever dreamed of going and doing something like this, get up here to the Rainy River. It's one of the greatest destinations in the world for monster prehistoric sturgeon. Wow, look at that. Fish of a lifetime. That's awesome. There she goes. Whew. 
Wow. John Thielen's Destination Fish has been brought to you by these great sponsors.